Hey guys, TechDude731 here, and today we're going to be doing a comparison between USB 2 and USB 3. To test this, I'm going to be using a USB 3 flash drive. For any of you wondering, it's a Lexar S23 rated with a theoretical maximum of 100 megabytes per second read and 55 megabytes per second write. And all I'm going to be changing is the interface that is used, so where I plug it into the motherboard, whether that is USB 3 or USB 2. The PC that I'm using to test this has a 7200 RPM mechanical hard drive, however in my testing the speed of the hard drive is 140 megabytes per second, so that will not be the bottleneck. Now I do realize that there are faster USB 3 flash drives and this is not meeting the full potential of USB 3, however this is just to compare the speeds of USB 3 with USB 2. Okay, first up is USB 2 with a theoretical maximum of 480 megabit per second, which is 60 megabytes per second. The first test we're going to be doing is writing a 4 gigabyte ISO to it. Okay, it's begun writing. As you can see, we're getting speeds of about 26 megabytes per second. Okay, so as you can see, the speed that we're getting is about 26 megabytes per second. That is writing to the flash drive over USB 2.0. Now we're going to try a different f uh, file. This is a folder with images, 600 megabytes. We'll test this. As you can see, a bit slower as we're copying multiple smaller files. About 19 megabytes per second. Okay, so that was at about 19 megabyte per second. Now I'm going to test the read speed of this flash drive. Okay, now we'll test the read speed by copying the same files to the hard drive. Okay, so with the 4 gigabyte ISO, we're getting about 30 megabytes per second. Two minutes and fifteen seconds to copy. One minute forty five. So again, thirty megabytes per second read speed over USB two. Now we'll try sample two. A bit faster with the read speed now, about 27 megabyte per second. Okay, that was the read speed and write speed over USB 2. As you can see, not that fast, takes a little while to copy larger files and as this is a 64 gigabyte flash drive it would take quite a while to fill it up over USB 2. Now we're going to test USB 3. Okay now we're going to test USB 3. First up is write speed and again as I mentioned this flash drive will only give results up to about 
100 megabytes per second even though the USB 3 theoretical maximum is 625 megabyte per second so about 10 times greater than that of USB 2. Again we're going to start with the 4 gigabyte ISO. Okay, quite a high start there but it dropped getting around 50, 50 megabyte per second write speed over USB 3 about double that of USB 2 but again this is approaching the maximum of this flash drive so obviously with better equipment you could achieve better speed Fifty megabyte per second write speed, four gigabyte ISO over USB three, so would still take a while to fill it up, but nowhere near as long as with USB two. Now we're going to use sample two, six hundred megabyte file, with many smaller three megabyte files. can see it's moving between 33 and 34 so we're going to say 30 34 megabyte per second write speed with many smaller files okay now we're going to test read speed over USB 3 for the read speed test we're going to start with sample 1 as you can see the read speed is quite a bit faster about anywhere from 90, 95 to 100 megabyte per second transferring quite quickly this is the maximum speed of the flash drive so you will not be getting results faster than this even though USB 3 is capable of about six times more than this substantially faster than USB 2 when it comes to read speeds. Now with sample 2 again 90 megabyte per second 85 quite a bit faster than USB 2 you would be able to transfer files much more quickly over USB 3 so summary is USB 3 worth it it definitely is as it is a new standard and more and more devices coming out are supporting it even phones now like the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and S5 also support USB 3 and many flash drives are starting to support it while devices with USB 3 are more expensive now still than USB 2 it is definitely worth it in the long run as USB 2 will only continue to be phased out and it is better to get devices if you're still upgrading now anyways. Thank you guys for checking out this video. If you like this video be sure to hit that thumbs up down below, leave a comment if you have one, and subscribe for more videos.